everyone, welcome to my 21st uh, per, uh, week of pregnancy. So this will be an update of October 11 to October 17 during my week 21st, uh, 21. And um, so as you know, if, if you saw my previous video, uh, week 21, uh, week 21 we were in uh, Orlando, Florida. Still, uh, we came back October 13th, so we were still on a trip. Um, so the first couple of days of my week 21, still we were in US and uh, having fun. And uh, we came back to Buffalo the, uh, on 12th and on 13th. Uh, we came back uh, to Toronto. Uh, everything was fine during uh, our stay at trip and I had no issues, basically zero uh, issues related to pregnancy and I was not tired at all, everything went perfect and uh, when we came back home uh, I went uh, on Wednesday I went to work and um, uh, everything was fine uh, on 15th uh, Thursday uh, I had a doctor appointment my regular OB appointment and this time for the first time I saw my uh, actual OB and not the substitute doctor for her so the doctor that I really wanted her to be my doctor because she is very well reputable and a couple of times at the early pregnancy clinic uh, I had her as the uh, doctor of that time and I was really happy with her and uh, even with pregnancy with Dylan I wanted her to be my OB but she was not available so um, it was a bit awkward after having one doctor as your doctor switching to another doctor at the same office but um, I really wanted her to be my doctor so I didn't hesitate uh, I um, so yeah I saw her met, met her for the first time and uh, everything was fine um, I explained my symptoms heart palpitation and uh, short of uh, breathness and um, um, all like stress and everything she said it's like all pregnancy related uh, and because of your uh, excess of uh, the, the extra volume of the blood in your body a heart palpitation could happen for some uh, for some it's easy for some people um, it includes these symptoms and she was not worried about it because especially because I don't have that regularly it's totally pregnancy related and she said just relax take it easy if you can work more from home do it but she doesn't know that even after I actually I'm pregnant and now that I'm facing these issues the option of working from home have been taken away from me and just from from me I don't know my workplace is not so much pregnancy friendly as soon as you have issues they cause more issues for you well that's fine I love my job because I can't live without computer programming like that's my passion and that's my that's who I am that that's what I do and I do it even for hobby like not now uh, before it was my actual job and I had a different totally different career uh, my um, passion and my hobby was computer programming so now that it's um, it's my actual job it's not a hobby anymore but still the same enjoyable I enjoy my work the actual work not so much the environment but yeah uh, the symptoms of this week um, pregnancy brain honestly after uh, I never knew what pregnancy brain is and I thought it's an insult to pregnant women but uh, after pregnancy with Dylan uh, well, during pregnancy, I did not have that pregnancy brain issue, but after giving birth to uh, him, especially for the first couple of weeks after giving birth, I felt like I'm, having, I'm experiencing Alzheimer's totally. Like, I couldn't even remember what happened like an hour ago. So I experienced a severe pregnancy brain issue, or I don't know what, what it was, but during the... 
uh, postpartum, first couple of weeks of postpartum, so I know what it is. And but now, this week, a uh, week twenty-one, I make so much mistakes and I forget so many things, and I felt like a kind of pregnancy break that seems similar, not as severe as it was after uh, delivery, but still, uh, when that happens when I make so many mistakes and forget so many things during the day then I know that's not natural, that's not typical of me so yeah and stress yeah back to work, back to real life from beautiful vacation we had and stress came back heart palpitation kind of came back uh, I don't know that's uh, I guess that the, the main reason psychologically is lack of time and so many things that are undone and just thinking about them and the guilt that I feel and um, yeah all that uh, projects itself on my body and shows itself as um, stress like panic attacks and uh, together with high blood volume and pregnancy it just hits me sometimes really so bad <sighs> apart from that everything is fine and um, weight, weight gain steadily I gained weight and by the end of that week uh, October 17 I was 59.9 kilos I can't really I have no time to convert it for you just use a unit converter app and convert it 59.9 kilos or 60 kilos um, so my pre-pregnancy weight was 54.5 and 60, 50, 54.5 and uh, like five and a half kilos. So I have gained five and a half kilos multiplied by uh, 2.2, see how many pounds it is, I don't know. So yeah. And again, another inch to my belly, and actually another inch to my belly during past two weeks. I did not update you with my uh, belly size for the past two weeks, and uh, during the past two weeks, altogether, I gained another inch. Uh, so it's 38.2 inches. I know it sounds too big for a 20 week pregnancy, 21st week of pregnancy, but yeah, my belly grew so much faster with this pregnancy compared to Dylan's pregnancy. I feel like seven months pregnant now. Uh, just to give you an imagination of how my belly grew, uh, when we left Toronto to Buffalo going to um, Orlando, I, w I put on a winter jacket, like a lightweight winter jacket, because it was so cold here and I knew it's going to be cold in buffalo but uh, we left it in the car because we had a um, park and fly option of, at a hotel that we stayed in so we left everything that we didn't want including the winter jacket in the car and when we came back uh, we just um, went to the um, to our car and put on our jackets and things so when I, when we went there the winter jacket that I put on, I could perfectly zip it up. When we came back from Orlando, I could not zip it up. It was like this, around one inch separate. The zipper parts were like one inch separate. So yeah, that jacket cannot be zipped up anymore. So it's like left aside now. And uh, basically I took out many of my pregnancy uh, maternity clothes, especially the winter jacket that I bought for Dylan's pregnancy. I took it out again. I started wearing that. I know that's loose now, but well, that's maternity. That's fine. I'm gonna be... it's gonna fit me very soon. <laughs> so I wanted really like none of my jackets could zip up. This one is a pregnancy one, like maternity one, that could zip up perfectly, but it's like a loose, bulky black jacket. Well, that's fine. I don't care as, as long as I'm not cold, because it is really cold here in Toronto, believe me or not. Uh, the day before yesterday, we had snow flurries for like two minutes. It was snowing, and it was really snowing. Like, it was 
fast. It wasn't just a little bit of flurries. And it was so cold. Today it was minus four. Don't look at me sitting like that at home. It's uh, we use a heater, so it's it's warm inside, but outside you need winter jacket. And that's it. Let me show you the belly. Yay! Now that I'm basically up to date with my updates, here's my belly. Yay! And let me do live measurement. Measurement. I give you both in centimeter and inches. Inches? Oh, what happened? Ah, wrong side. Sorry, guys. Yeah, thirty-eight point two inches, and it comes to ninety. Seven and a half, ninety-seven and a half centimeters. Yep. So that's it, I guess, for this update. And I'll be back to you with next week with my twenty-second update. Well, by the way, I can't believe like ha I'm halfway through pregnancy. I'm more than halfway through pregnancy. So yeah, today that I'm talking to you, I am, like my week turns on uh, Saturdays, so it's Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday I was 22 weeks, uh, 21 week, in one, two, three, 21 week plus three days, I'm in my 22nd week and I'll update you with that by the end of the week. Thank you. Bye.